creating a super piece from old jewelry. Uh, let me talk about another redesign project I did the other day, or I'm kind of finishing it right now. Uh, it was a beautiful ring for Eliza. She wanted a very modern piece. Uh, we did it on, we did a, a online session. Uh, she is from Michigan. I'm here in Rhode Island. It works really well. Uh, she told me what she wants, what she doesn't like, uh, and, and through through a nice discussion, we kind of went into or found the direction I have to go in. Now let me show you a little bit how I did this or what happened. Here, this was my first. This was the first idea I came up with. Okay, so this was a. She wanted a long ring that sits on, on her index finger and uh, that's what I, and again, modern. So that's what I came up with. Uh, if you render this, it's gonna look like, uh, like this. Let's render it quickly, a little bit from the side and uh, that way you can see how it looks or let's do it from the other side because that's a little more interesting with all the little with the little uh, diamond, with the little diamond strip in it. She she wanted a, or she was talking about a two-tone solution, so I put that in. Uh, she ended up not liking the two-tone solution, uh, so I did it all in white. Showed her that. I can show you this quickly. Uh, let's go here. white gold here and uh, now let's render it again stop it render it again and then we have it here in white gold uh oh this is a different type of white gold but you get you get the idea I don't, don't want to go crazy so I send her these pictures uh, the, with all different types of, of uh, render solutions, two-tone, non-two-tone, uh, white gold, white gold with yellow, etc. She ended up not liking the design. There were a few things that she wanted to change. One, for one thing, the, the ring was too long. She wanted it shorter, so we squished that one down a little bit. We, again, we did all this online. Uh, she could see the, the screen as you can see it when I am presenting and uh, Yeah, after a while it was like kind of fell We realized I have to start a whole a, a new approach. So I said I knew enough went back and Came up with another solution. Let's see what I did the other the next thing I did was uh, this ring here and again very that was a contemporary thing again after a while here we go now you see it this was again for index finger and later she changed finger she wanted to go back on her ring finger so let's throw up a render for this here. And she wanted in rose gold. And uh, what, what happened, I said, okay, let's go with the rose gold. And I, it's funny, often before I fall asleep, I think about these things and figure all rose gold and diamonds is not, it's gonna, it's a very, very acquired taste. So I figure, if we, I think it's gonna look much better if we put the diamonds in white gold and use them as white accents in the rose gold ring. And that's what I proposed to her the next day. I called her and she agreed to it. And this is what we, what we did. So this is how it, how it looks. And this was the design uh, Liza approved. So now show me let me show you the, the finished piece. This here, oops, sorry, the lights are not on. Ooh, and uh, 
this is the bad boy finished. Very contemporary with some random computer generated pattern that is really interesting and uh, I forgot the, there's a, a term for this I forgot I forgot it and yeah this is the finished piece and can't wait to send it to to send the ring to Eliza and then see her reactions or hear her reaction she's kind of far away okay uh, this is a redesign pro uh, project I haven't gotten yet to the to the filming of the actual making of the pieces in the in the workshop we're still working on on a, on a good way to bring that over without being too time consuming and also not boring but it will come uh, soon and I'm uh, gonna be able to show this whole process from A to Z and uh, yeah can't wait to do this so if you have any ideas if you have old jewelry laying around and these little videos pique some interest and some some ideas give me a call or come in if you want to meet online we can do that uh, you're very welcome to come in and we get it going talk to you later Klaus the jeweler